How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse and welcome to episode number three of the Through the Year series. Yes, this is being posted on a Sunday because no, I couldn't do it this past Thursday. Uh, but in today's video, we're going to be going through all the Sceptile cards in my collection. Uh, I do not have all the Sceptile cards ever printed in Japanese. I'm missing three out of the 24, uh, but I have everything from a set uh, as well as, you know, a bunch of other ones to show off. So I hope that you enjoy the video. Make sure, of course, to hit the like button if you do enjoy it. And if you'd like to see a particular Pokemon be featured, uh, the best way to do it is to dive into the comment section below. Uh, let me know via a comment, you know, which one you want to see in the next installment. Or if you see that someone has already voted for a selection that you would like to see, make sure to give that person an upvote. Uh, because I definitely look at the most popular um, choices as well. I do try to switch from typing to typing and try to get some mons that can, uh, that can be really interesting without making a video that's, you know, three hours long. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into Sceptile. So you're going to see 21 cards in this video, uh, which is pretty exciting for me. Uh, definitely a good pool to pull from when you're looking for Sceptile cards. Uh, first Japanese Sceptile to be printed was right here, this expansion pack uh, from the first uh, EX Ruby and Sapphire set. You're looking at the first ever Sceptile card. Pretty cool. Uh, I am missing, I think, the one from the Trico Constructed Starter Deck, as well as an ADV promo and a PCG promo, uh, but you will see all the set-based cards. Uh, so here we have, from the Magma vs. Aqua to Ambition set, um, we've got Sceptile Old School EX. Yes, it did get an Old School EX. In fact, it's not the only one it got. You'll see a pretty special one in a couple of cards from now. But this is pretty awesome. They immediately realized its potential. Uh, so this was a Sceptile non-holographic promo uh, that appeared. Uh, pretty cool to see cards with a design where it shows the evolution kind of like in the middle rather than automatically being up at the top. It kind of surprised me at first kind of going back and thinking to myself, did they print this so it didn't have to evolve? Nah, it did. It's just down here. But pretty cool. Uh, next up from Miracle Crystal, we have the Sceptile EX Delta Species card. Yes, as well as he is Psychic Typing. Those Delta Species really were cool. Uh, I wish I had booster boxes of them that I could open and also keep sealed and sell for lots of money. Uh, but such is not the case, so instead, instead we're just going to check out this awesome card and enjoy the artwork. Uh, next one's from Diamond of Pearl 4. Uh, the Sceptile Hollow. I think it was Dawn Dash or Dash of Dawn, but I'm not positive. These double sets, you can't always remember where they're from. Pretty cool. Next Hollow is going to be from Intense Fight in the Destroyed Sky. That's Diamond and Pearl 6. Uh, they went right back to the well for another Sceptile Hollow. Uh, so clearly, uh, they have not had issues printing cards over and over again for a long time now. Really like the background with this one. Uh, next is going to be a Sceptile. Is it non hollow rare? Yeah, non hollow rare uh, from Advent of Arceus. Uh, those were amongst the sets that had two non hollow rares per booster pack, and sometimes you get legendaries or, you know, evolved starters like this. Uh, so, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, in keeping with the theme of Arceus, the next one was a Sceptile card that appeared in the Arceus Grass and Fire deck. There's definitely some different artwork right there. But it's cool to see him in different poses rather than just the same stuff over and over again. But pretty neat. Uh, did not appear in the TCG again until Black and White 8 when I got this uh, this holographic treatment. And you're probably going to hear me say this a fair few times in videos like this, but I really like that 5th gen holo art. And not everybody does, but I do. I think it's really neat. Uh, Sceptile appeared again in Gaia Volcano. Uh, received this uncommon card, yes, non-hollow, non-hollow, not even a rare, uh, just an uncommon. Um, and this was reprinted again, and you will see the second copy of this uh, when it appears. Uh, it also did receive the holographic ancient trait treatment in Gaia Volcano, which is cool. I do like the uh, like the circular pattern right there. Looks like a Captain America shield, Captain Sceptile. Oh, pretty sweet. Uh, Sceptile appeared big time in Bandit Ring. Uh, this is the regular EX version. Uh, 
And then the Mega Evolution EX, Mega Sceptile EX. Very fancy stuff. And of course, how can you forget the two full arts from Bandit Ring? Here's the regular Sceptile full art. By the way, this is as good a time as any to remind people if you haven't voted for your Bandit Ring King of the Full Arts, uh, make sure you go back and check that out. See all the cards and you know, let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section in that video. And also there is your Mega Sceptile EX Full Art. Only time Sceptile's ever gotten the Full Art treatment, and he got two of them in the same set. A Jagged Saber Attack. Uh, coming up next is actually my favorite Sceptile artwork. Uh, so that's pretty pretty exciting. Uh, illustrated by SK Yoshinob. Sorry if I butchered it, uh, but this is a Sceptile EX promo from the X and Y series. Uh, I believe this is given out to participants of a Japanese event, uh, August of 2015 or something like that. Uh, I managed to get my hands on a few of these, and this is the one that I've added to my collection. It's very nice. It's very nice. So here's a reprinting of that uncommon card from before, uh, this time with no rarity. I think this is in one of those uh, speed or power decks uh, that feature the non-hollow printings of the EXs. So it is the same artwork, uh, but is uh, a different card if you're particular about keeping your deck cards separate. Now as we near the end, we've got the Sceptile EX and Mega Sceptile EX from Premium Champion Pack with the darker mirror foiling on there. Despite being qualitatively the same artwork, uh, it is darker and does look, you know, different enough that I didn't mind such a set appearing. And the last two printings for now of a Sceptile, at least as of when this video was posted, were the reprints from the Best of X and Y series. Again, Sceptile EX and Mega Sceptile EX. But pretty cool to be able to enjoy these all in sequence. And thank you guys very much for checking out the video. I appreciate you checking it out because it lets me know, you know, that people are enjoying this kind of stuff. Uh, so make sure you hit the like button if you did enjoy it. Uh, drop a comment down below or support some of the other fine comments in the comment section letting me know which card you'd like to see featured next. And I can't tell you when I'll see you next, but hopefully it's going to be soon, you know, whenever I can film some pack openings for you guys. Take it easy.